What's up guys and welcome to Storage Legends. It's been a couple of days and I hope you've enjoyed the awesome give back video. Um, I definitely wanted to follow through my goal in giving back to these kids and not letting um, a, a negative Nancy uh, um, defeat or, or not defeat, but postpone that goal or prevent that goal. Um, I really appreciate all the awesome feedback, all the awesome emails and all the awesome encouraging words. It's beyond, I'm beyond grateful for it. Um, but we have something super, super, super exciting and super crazy plan guys hoarder house action here we go hoarder house right now we're in the basement super kind of muggy it's been like raining lately i wanted to kind of like before I started just prepping fully, I wanted to kind of show you what I'm putting inside of the garbage bags. Guys, get a close up on that. A lot of nasty foods. We got nasty cans and ooh. All of this old, disgusting food. Ew. Gross. Yeah, and then like if you want, go ahead and show down here where these cans are so old that they like oh, pretty yeah. much have like rusted. They're like disintegrating. Sheesh. The guapo uh, cleared out this huge path. So, wow, you're basically at the back wall. Pretty much, right? That's crazy. Check this out, is that mold or what? Um, what do you think? If you were to guess, what do you, you think it's a yes or a no? Um, I'm gonna say maybe. Okay, so if you were to guess, you would say like maybe. Okay. But then again, it could be this because that looks like it was leaking. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's like corrosion from something leaking up there. Possibly. I know it's got to go in the garbage, guys. And I figured you guys would probably want to see this live in effect. Um, because, uh, yeah, we've been working on this basement for quite some time now. And it's coming to, it's coming to life. So food, meat, garbage. Garbage, meat, food. Look at that. Guys, comment below if that's mold or not. I am. I'm not eating none of that. <laughs> oh, be careful. Those boxes almost landed on you. It could be like a contraption where like... Everything depends on this one cereal box. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh, no. Is that socks? A bag of socks. Holy crap. Look at that. There's like a whole bottom level. Of just, ah, just nastiness. Got pecan, cherry flavored syrup. Cherry flavored syrup looks like some, like some vomit. Um, some watermelons. More watermelons. Um, yeah, just. Ugh. I mean, you're probably talking like tons of food. That's just. Whoa! Do you see, look at that in the back? Do you see the vintage Pepsi's? Yeah, that's nasty. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, guys, we are just taking this and trying to completely clear the whole area out. Okay. <coughs> Sheesh. All right, guys, so very nasty, very gross stuff. It is just, ugh. 
and I'm just wow. I'm like I'm I'm pretty much I'm pretty much almost done. Um, oh my gosh, is that another rack over there? Ooh, that's pretty bad in here. But it's probably like a garbage thing. Chapel keeps saying it stinks. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff. I got half the Hot Wheels out. Looks like there's a little bit of cool stuff in there. Looks like that's records. Wow, and other boxes back there. We're going to check that out here in a minute. I'm getting all the nasty stuff out. Let's do this. Right, so I seen a little folder, and I thought this was kind of cool. Nebraska, California. Nonetheless, Very nice. we are completely done with this, this whole so area cool. right here. We're hand. throwing, ooh. Wow. That's that. why you wear gloves, everyone. I just found what? This is an ultra big shark. It's um, clean your carpet, clean your walls. And it's actually anything. in there. And not only is it in there, it's never been used. Wow, so that's awesome. So we don't have to worry about any dirt or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm looking over here. I'm trying to dig through this. And um, I did find this thing. This was really cool. It's like a glass art canister set. That's cool. That'd be in the auction. Um, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are all screws. Yeah, there's so many screws. I found so many screws. Holy crap. So there goes some screws. I'll put, put those down. Those are more screws right there. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, looks like some baseball cards in there. Very nice baseball cards. Tons of them. And then it looks like there's a bunch more. One, two, three. Oh, this one, four, five, and six. Six different sets of cards. Yes! Looks like the brand. Look what's in there. It's like uh, for containers, glass containers for storage. Oh, this is Anchor. a 17, yeah, 17 piece set. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What else is over here? <laughs> Because at this point we're 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 looking for the truck fund. I mean, we talked about this kind of off camera. Yeah. Um, you want to explain a little bit, kind of like what we talked about, like off camera, like that we really could use a truck with the oh, nice and big forth bed. to the hoarder house to the main location. But and we don't want anything that's like that old. Putting money into a vehicle is just not where we want to be because you put so much money into your last right. truck. Right. I don't think you want to repeat the same. And I want something like my last truck because it's not, you don't have to take care of it like a new car. We're not, right. we don't want it to be a new car, A to B. We want our truck, trucks are meant to be used. Yeah. So yeah, I, that's kind of like what we discussed off camera. So a lot of the stuff's going to truck funds and um, we need to probably get another Gretzky. Oh. Uh -oh, uh oh. All right, guys, you've seen the prelims and now you know what time it is. It's Storage Legends unboxing time, guys. First things first, I want to show you this really cool picture. Check that out. How cool is that? I wonder if you could read that, Chavo. Could you read that? Paul or Paul something. Bart from This is the Mall Cop. Chavo, look at his face. Oh yeah. That's the freaking Mall Cop grown up you guys remember that movie paul bart's mall cop this is probably him he probably stopped guarding malls and he went on a ship or something i don't know <laughs> anyways it's a really cool picture and i wanted to show you we're gonna move this awesome crock pot and i'm gonna show you these two boxes under here we did find star wars in this area so who knows who this is light oh there's no box in there oh, there is a box there's nothing in there okay let's see what's in here whoa now you remember these boxes had tons of cool stuff. Okay, it says 2005 on this box. Ah, oh, papers, papers. We don't want to show any papers. Okay. And this looks like a papers box, guys. Alright. Since that one was papers, I'll do that later. So it's in the tomatoes. Ah, oh, more papers and more magazines. Sheesh. But you remember, we want to go to the bottom. We want to. All right, you want to first probably thoroughly go through this. Yeah, it looks like it's just a bunch of magazines. Uh, guns and Arms magazines, too, as well. So, okay, we'll move that out the way. Okay. 
Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. It's a dead spider. Mm. Sheesh. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Ah! Oh, it looks like there's another bug. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So we do have dead spiders. Um, what's in there? Oh, oh. I think I see it. I think it's Tupperware. Tupperware. Yep, Tupperware. Oh, Dun -dun -dun -dun. oh, man. And we just found a gift card. What do you think? I don't know. It ha I'm going to show you a turn around, block the numbers. It hasn't been scratched. No way. We got to go call right, so, that. I think what the best option is, is maybe we should get back there, try to see what exactly else is in this right. basement. What did you just find? It looks like a beer light. It looks like glaring beer label, black label beer. And let's see. more life in the flavor. Wow. What do you think that's worth? I mean, I definitely would say at least like 40, 50 bucks. At least. At least. And we have any, this is an unlooked up item. This could be a really sought after. Oh. And this. Just found a baggie of bullets in this, mag what? In this magazine box. Are those shotgun bullets? Shotgun and 22 bullets. Wow. In this magazine box. Sheesh. Tons of crazy stuff. Super crazy. And what else is in this box? Oh. It's like a lamp. Mary had a little lamb. Is that Mary had a little lamb? I have no idea. <laughs> and we, ooh, this is cool. It's like an eagle clip or something. Mm, that's like a. Um, I have dust on my hands from the gloves. Yeah, that's like an eagle. Like an eagle. Real nice. Um, let's see what we got. Yes. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's, that's in the sweet, right? What Very do you think? Cool. It's definitely not an elf. It definitely looks like something Aztec. Uh, maybe African, possibly? Yeah, I would say African art. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Um, so, this looks like the top of the beer sign. This looks old, too. These go for a lot of money. Um, I forgot. You kind of, like, put them on the floor. and they. Oh, I forgot what these are called, guys. Comment below. It says Stanley. Comment below what you think this is. Number one nine zero Stanley. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, that thing is cool. Let's see what else is in here. It says Dreaming December Angel. Angel. Oh, December Angel. And all right, now that everything is completely out the way, I just want you guys to take a look at this absolute mountain of freaking sports cards from the floor to the absolute ceiling of nothing but sports cards ladies and gentlemen that is probably one of the coolest views we've had since i've got i didn't think i thought this was one big dresser this actually isn't one big dresser i might be able to give this to my grandfather at his nursing home um to hold up the tv that's been an issue so that's pretty cool that i found that out but yeah to see all of this and to see this like completely cleared and have like a full magnitude of this awesome wall of not only Hot Wheels, but cards as well. It's just a good sight. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like two more boxes of Hot Wheels. I'm not sure, but let me pull this box as well. Wow. And look at that. That looks like red lines, actually. So we're going to have to pull that box. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's red lines. That's red lines. Oh, no. All right. All right. Look at these. 
Hot Wheel red lines. Looks like they're from like the 90s, possibly. Yep, 93. Check that out. 1993 Hot Wheels. Look, there's red lines everywhere, though. Look at all those. So many red lines. That is just, man, look, one, two, there's more of them. This is a whole box of nothing but absolute red lines. Look at this, crazy. They just keep coming. just like keeps coming I just you would think that it would stop but it has not look at that oh look at that that is sick all right Chapo you do the honors show For this your box. Engines. Ooh, that sounded like an actual <laughs> engine <laughs> Oh, another one of those haulers. That's a recycle truck. Okay. All right. And we also have a couple headliners in here. Dedris Rodman's. Wow. Whoa. That's car pro racing. Mm-hmm. Marky Martin. What the heck is that? <gasps> oh. Whoa. Where you could play the game. No way. Look That's that. a... Dude, do you guys remember floppy disks? That was before flash drives and clouds. There's more, there's different versions too. Holy crap. These are probably worth some serious there's coin. That one. Wow. There's tons. Sheesh. What the heck is this? Alien Invaders? Dude, what? No way. 1993 Alien Invaders. These are cool. What else? There's just, what isn't in here? I mean, we got figures. We have NASCAR. Wow, Alien look, invaders. another one of those floppy disks. This one's a Corvette. Is it? Isn't it a Corvette? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mustang GT. Mustang GT, wow. And what year are those? This is coming in at 95. 1995. Wow. Sheesh. Tons of the cars, though. Looks like there's more. Oh, no. I know. There's something at the bottom. Oh, my oh, gosh. What, what the heck? Is that a dinosaur? Oh, don't bend the card. Be careful. Okay, let me just take them out. Because I see something. I'm going to set them right here. Yep. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of NASCARs. NASCAR. They love NASCARs. Oh, yeah. A bunch Fun. of NASCARs. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. The, the, the five pack. pack. Wow. And then it's look, a there's a radio pack. flower down there. Oh, my gosh. Jeez, not there's one, two there's of them. Two. Oh, and my a gosh. Jolly and a Charlie Rancher. Rancher Holler. Holy oh crap. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice hot wheel. I love Jolly Ranchers. So Other ranches are pretty good. Yeah. Man. All right, what else is there? There's tons of stuff. Oh my gosh, oh, that's a McDonald's one. My Holy goodness. crap. Take Look at very big Mac. Oh my gosh. Whoa, what year is that? I wonder if they're talking about driveways. 1996. 1996. Wow. That's crazy. Easy. <laughs> this is it. crazy. Okay, what's that? Hold on, hold on. I oh want to bend the God. cards. Don't bend the cards. Don't bend the cards. Be cool. careful. Like Kyle Petty, that's a cool little color. Wait, there's another one of these. Oh, so we can put this on there. And all these are gone. Wow. Oh. Is that Star Trek? Ooh, S Trek. S Trek. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a cool Whoa. piece, man. That's gotta be worth some money. What's There's no that? way. That's 90s. That's 91. 91. Dang, that's almost, that's wow. closer to the 80s. Than it Let me see those 90s. cars. Those cars look, man, those are sweet. Jeez. That's 
that's amazing. Wow. And then this box right here, the one. Yeah, that what what is it? Oh, it's another attack. <gasps> oh, Alien invaders. Oh, nice. Holy I wonder crap. if this one's going to be a different it's color. Like a Millennium Falcon or something like a black Millennium Falcon or something. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. With the snake in the mouth. Ooh. Ah. Maggot mouth. That's what they called him. Sheesh. The maggot mouth. And there's still cool stuff Ooh. in there. Look at that. MLB. Those are MLBs. I wonder if they have an Indians. He has to have an Indians. Bunch. Oh, this one's already worth money because this is a Florida Marlins one. They're Miami Marlins now. Beef Brewers. Wow, that's cool. Oh, man. Limited edition racing champions. How awesome is that? Wow. And then another five pack. Another five pack. Oh, there's a blimp. Towing blimp garbage truck and an ice cream truck. What year is that? 96. And that's a good one. And then another floppy disk. Get you just out. don't see those, mm -hmm. man. You really don't. Let's check out this. Yeah, what the heck is that? It's a Look special issue set. The colors of vehicles. It says Thunderbird, Dodge. What is that, a Corvette? An F-150, and then, what is that, a Viper? It looks like it. Wow, that is cool. What year is this? No, oh, 96. Oh, this is set number two. two. I wonder if we can find the other ones. Definitely. All right. So, yeah, what does that say? 88 Dunruss. Look at all this, look at all this. Wow. There are so many cards, ladies and gentlemen. It is ridiculous. I wonder what's in this. It's like sets or maybe something's missing or something. I'm not even sure. There's a bunch of numbers on here. Crazy. This looks like it is Fleer. 1987. 1997 Fleer Baseball. Wonder what the heck else is here. Wouldn't be an episode without some type of cards, right? So we have to show you exactly what's in these boxes, or at least like a gist. We can't go through every one, but that's what they're auctions for, right? So come check this out. All of these are in here. And I have no idea what they are. Let's see if we can look at that right there. This looks like it's going to be a... It looks like it's going to be a... Tops 1978. Sheesh. So these are 1978. These are beautiful tops 1978. And that's going to be all in there. I don't know if it's a complete set, but we also don't want to ruin it though. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. It's going to be tops 1978. See, it says 81 Fleer. That is wrong. So what he wrote on the boxes isn't always accurate. Put that aside here. This right there, what's in Oh man, these look old. These look old. Okay. These look old. Okay, so we have 1975 Tops baseball cards. I put those in there. If I pull this out, this looks like a. This looks like a 1976 Tops chewing gum card as well. So we have that in there. It's probably not sets. Oh, but look at this. It looks like stickers are here. Wow, look at that. Denver Broncos. Kansas City Chiefs. Houston Oilers. Oakland Raiders. Let's see. Wow. Green Bay Packers. Dolphins. Bengals. Falcons. Look at the Dallas Cowboys. Vikings. That's crazy. Here, wow, these look like all good time money. Yeah, this is good, guys. These are good. All right, next box. These are really good, guys. You don't want to mess with them too much because you know they're very old. All the auction, though, we'll put the 
Make sure you stay tuned. Log on to the auction. I opened this one up, and I, I was like, you know what? We gotta bring the we gotta bring the camera out because look at all of this, guys. This is just ridiculous. There's so many old cards in here. Look at all that. Tons of them. And then check out all of this. It's a whole row of nothing but just old cards. Their condition doesn't look the greatest like the other ones. But these are just freaking old. If I can pull this one out and kind of see what year this one is. This is 1971. Or 73. Wow. Wow. Cars, guys. Cars, cards. Here we go. Wow, look at that. This is going to be a top 85. Wow, so that looks like there's a set in there. That looks like all baseball cards as well. We got in here. Whoa, these look like packs. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open one of these because the same card's in the front as the back. So let's see what this is. Wow, no, these are all the same exact card. This is all Greg Swindell. All these are a bunch of Greg Swindells. Look. I've never seen that ever. These are all the same exact card. And it's a whole pack of them too, guys. Comment below, is he even good? Oh, there goes another one, Corey Snyder. It's crazy. So many cards. We have like wow. we went through like how many boxes you would At say? At least ten. And then we haven't even made like a dent. In this a pack. lot of them. Look at that. Oh man. Wow. 1979 prospects. And so this is gonna be a top 79 set. Crazy. Okay, so we'll close that off. Wow, look at this one. This looks like another top 79 set. No way. Crazy. Okay, let's see what this is. Is gonna be a Dunruss set. Man, what the heck? This is crazy. This one, oh, I think we've seen this one. Yeah, we've seen this one. Let's see what's in this one. Whoa. This is gonna be, let's see, 1973. 1973 set. Ooh, want to be careful with them. Definitely want to be careful with them, guys, because they are in great shape as is. Let's see. Wow, look at all that. So we got a bunch of different miscellaneouses, but for the most part, this looks like 73 as well. Sheesh. Whoa, 1969, 70, 72. Look at that basketball. Look, basketball, 73 to 74. I wonder what that is. We should check those out. All right, let me see. Oh, man. NBA leaders and rebounds. Man. These are in good shape too. 
70. Pacers out injured rockets. Wow, I don't know if we're looking for like a look Earl Mahara. Let me see Pat Riley. There goes Pat Riley. I wonder if that's a rookie card. Nope, not a rookie card. Austin Carr. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. There you go. Bill Bradley, wow, so these are in amazing shape. I'm gonna put these back. We're looking for the whole row of something like that, some basketball. Kareem is a really good card to pull. These are all gonna be footballs. We're gonna wait on those as well. That's a really good box though. Light, but light doesn't mean bad. Okay, tons of, these are all look like all team cards. Nothing but just teams like this. This is what a team card looks like. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Okay, here goes the next one. A lot of dust guys, beware. Oh, man. Look at that. Tons of baseball. Tons of baseball, guys. That, that looks like tops. What's that say, Chapo? Um, Date-wise, it's looking at 1983. 1980, yep, 1983, nice. So they're 80s, guys, they're good. Cool box here. Oh, that's not anything. I found a cool box here. I think it's the basketball box, check that out. Looks like a full set of basketball cards, guys. This is good. This is good. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. Nothing but. Oh, I don't know who these guys are. Sheesh. Player of the years. Oh, man. Yeah, it's kind of. Oh, that looks signed. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, what else is in here, guys? Look, it says basketball, upper deck, basketball set two. Check this out. Oh man, upper deck basketball set. Looks like a complete set. Here goes the set one of that one, upper deck basketball. Let's see right here, what's in here? It says hockey. Oh, look at this. Whoa, that's signed. Look, that's signed. Oh man, looks like this looks like a girl. Whoa. That is cool, man. That's a good box right there. Okay, I didn't think there was gonna be any signed cards. What in the world? Oh, tops. Looks like 1982 top set. So that's a 1982 top set. Let's see what else we got? This upper deck football right there. Uh oh, uh oh, Chapo, Chapo. Oh, I thought those had cards in them. No. Oh, that would have been crazy. It looks like that's another card set in there. There are some with top loaders. Oh, this is football. This is football. Okay, so we got football cards upper deck okay let's see what we have in here this is like a limited edition sets of baseball this says action-packed rookie set 1994 and what is that collector's kit i've never seen that before let's see what that is whoa Kind of like a different type of card there. Mm. These cards are crazy, guys. Comment below what you're thinking. I mean, I'm having a blast showing them to you and having a blast finding them. I hope you're having a blast watching it. And if you are, I want you to hit that subscribe button, guys, so we don't lose you and you're able to watch videos like this again. All right, so let's see what the heck. 
It says 1993 Studio. Got it. Ooh, looks like there's some hollows and all kind of different stuff in there. Hmm, pretty crazy. Let's see, okay, Upper Deck Basketball. Um, gold Upper Deck Electric Score. Okay. And then look at this gun. There's like a ray gun just there. Super awesome. And let's see, this says, uh, what's that say? Um, images set, 1995. Mm. Images set, and this says Upper Deck. Edge set golf. This one doesn't have a name. What's in it? Oh, we already seen this one. This is that hockey. All right, guys, that's a really nice box. And then check out all these other cards. We haven't even had a chance to even remotely go through. I mean, you're talking mountains of cards, guys. We've been at it for hours, and it's still, I mean, you know, it's still nowhere even near close to being done, guys. We got another box here. And it looks like there's way more monkeys, guys. Tons of monkeys. And these have like brand new tags on them. Brand new tags from the 90s. K&M 1993 from the 90s tags, guys. Very nice box of stuff. The animals. Let's see whatever else is in here. Check this out. Let's see. Okay. Oh, 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 man, look at all these top-loaded cards, guys. All in top-loaders already. Look at these ones. Oh, my gosh. This is all going on the auction, guys. All old baseball and basketball cards. Football cards. I mean, check it out really quick here. Oh, man. Sheesh. All these cards have top loaders on them. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome, awesome box. Awesome box. All right, let's see it. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Ooh, another huge box of nothing but vintage 70s football players. Um, yep, these are 70s easy. Let's see what's over here. All football, guys. All football. Remember, guys, this is like this is the one we're looking for. I'm pretty sure Joe Montana's rookie cards in this one. 81, I believe. Let's see here. I've been learning a little bit. This is gonna be baseball. Oh, oh wow. Wow, 76 baseball. Look at all that. Look at all that. Sheesh. Wow. Let's see here. 76. That's the oldest one we, we got. 76. 78. 86. All baseball. You see how it's labeled? Did you, you see how the tabs are? I mean, that's insane. How cool is that? And it has top loaders. Or it's uh, penny sleeves, which is really good. For those of you guys that don't know what penny sleeves are, penny sleeves are the plastic covering that you put on a card. Wow. Tops 1978. Sheesh. Yes, yeah, comment below if any of these sets have any good significance. I'm sure a lot of collectors on the other end are knowing exactly what rookie cards go to each set. Me, on the other hand, guys, I'm just happy to show them to you. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. I mean, you're probably talking thousands and thousands of baseball cards. Insane. Wow. Shoot. It's a lot. Okay, let's see. Okay. That's just what we've gone through just in this pile. And it's been hours, guys. Hours. 
Cleveland Browns sets. Kozar lets it go. Browns. See that? So these are Cleveland Brown sets. I like that they're already like individually wrapped and knowing him, it's probably like all yeah, organized. Like ones, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna keep going through here. Wow. I mean, you're talking tons and tons and tons of cards, guys. Sheesh. Wow. So those are baseballs. And look at all the rest of these. Oh my gosh. I mean, these are probably... Let's see what this one is. Rich Chillis. 1979. Man. So 70s, guys. 70s. Dunrust 1985 cards. And there's a whole set of them. What are you saying? It's probably going to be. Whoa. These are tons of sets of tops. Looks like from 85. Tops from 85. Brett Beverly. Okay, hang on. Let me see what's in here. Julio Franco. These look like these are from 84. Julio Franco from 84. And we got just tons of other Julio Francos. And they look like they're all in sets. Wow. What a good find. These are crazy. There's more in here. We got we got tops baseball. We have what's under that? We got 1979 tops. Chewing gum. Oh, these look really old. Let's see. Um, these are going to be 1982 Opeachy. 1982 Opeachy, guys. Very nice. Peachy's a Canadian. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh. It's gonna be 1986. Fleer. Wow, guys. I mean, these are just complete sets. Just put a hundred bucks on them, which is so low, but just put a hundred bucks on them. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in here, guys. This is just, and it's just tons. It just keeps going. It seems like these are all baseball. It seems like these are all baseball. This is 77. 1977. They're like late 70s. All of the 80s. This is going to be another set of Dunruss. Oh, man. You're talking thousands, guys. I mean, not hundreds, guys. You're talking thousands and thousands of dollars in cards, guys. Even at like a penny a piece, 10 cents a piece, they are worth some serious money because we got quantity here, guys. Look at this. Another 77 set. 1977. The reason why I know is because it's starting off with the same card, and that's just how this collector was. Let's see here. Um, 78. Wow. 1978. Let's see what we got here. Yep, 1979. So these are probably 70s, all 70s. And then that's going to be that same one, that Fleer. 81. Wow, guys, comment below if you know. Now, all of those were baseball that we just looked at. This is a cool box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, man. That is at the bottom of the bin, guys. This could be crazy. All right, guys, so we took the box upstairs. Looks like this is a, a box of baseball cards. 
Wow, look at that. It says Magic Motion 1987 Sport Flick Baseball. Looks like we have four of those. Right. Man. This was the bottom box. I hope it's promising, guys. Whoa, leaders. Looks like it's a tops with the original box. Major League Leaders. Super glossy baseball cards. Very nice. Oh, man, guys, we got a binder. You know what happened last time. All right, we got a binder. Oh. It's a whole set of Leaf 86 Dunruss cards. Sheesh. Oh, wow, looks like there's more sets as well. The Canadian versions of them. Wow. Reggie Jackson, all of them, guys. All the good ones. Whoa, this one says blank backs. Wonder what that means. Wow, they have blank backs. What the heck? That is crazy. I wonder if those are worth any money. Check all that out, guys. Jim Sunberg. Sheesh. Joey, Ken, I'm just naming first names. I don't even know what's going on, guys. All I know is that these cards have a blank back, and I don't know if that's worth money. If it's not worth money, I would imagine it'd be rare. I don't really ever see any with blank backs. I've never seen any with blank backs. So it's definitely pretty crazy. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got one more of these tops boxes. Very nice. And then what the heck is in here? What's that say? Club Franks. Is that a hot dog box? I don't know. <laughs> What's it? What else does it say? It says non-fat dry milk added. Mm. And there's some kind of writing right here. It says 182. F. Okay, it could be F. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. It's just the big cards. Looks like these are all just McDonald's. McDonald's Gary Finnick. Mike Richards, McDonald's. Wow, so these are nothing but McDonald's cards. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. Cards. Oh, yeah, these are the Kellogg's cards. 3D Superstars. So we got 3D Superstars, the Kellogg's, and then there's two more binders, guys. There's some that says Canadia, and let me see. This one says Best of oh, Baseball. Ooh, but it says 75 minis, so those are really good. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, those are really good, guys. Look at George Brett, Mike Schmidt, Tom Seaver. Wow. Let's see what else we got in here. We don't want to damage them. Dave Winfield, Nolan Ryan, Mike Schmidt, Hank Aaron. Look at that. Fire. Look at that, guys. Hank Aaron. 
Oh, another Hank Aaron. This is actually a really good binder, guys. There's good cards in here. Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan. Ooh, check that out. So it's not just the set. It's, it seems like it's the good cards. Okay, let's see here. Okay. I don't want to thoroughly go through this one, guys, because they seem to be in really, really good shape. Check that out. Man, there's a lot of good ones. Let's see what else we said. Let's move on. Wow. Sheesh. A lot of good ones, guys. Don't want to mess this set up, but that's actually a really good, really good box. We're going to look through this as well. Canada. Here we go. Wayne Gretzky. That Sparky. Daryl Strawberry. And that's it, guys. The legend will always continue of the Hoarder House until we are done, which is no time soon. Really awesome finds today, guys. We finally took out that whole wall of cards, 80s, 70s. I mean, they're, they're in complete sets. They're beautiful. It's just, it's insane that they're stored that good for that long. That's what makes them so rare. And um, guys, just stay tuned for the other episodes. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for uh, being supportive and just staying legendary.